Hey guys, this is MTP Flyers, and of course, you know, I always like to change things up. So, what we're going to do today is, and I know that I said I was going to do nothing but reviews, but come on. Do you see this thing? Can you see it? Here, why don't we, why don't we zoom in a little bit, and I'll show this to you guys. There it is. The HP MediaSmart server finally came today, and I just wanted to go ahead and unbox it. So let's go ahead and move you guys back out there so you can see me. And what we're going to do right now is go to the other angle so you guys can get a little better shot to this right now. So let's go ahead and get this opened up and see exactly what we have inside. I'm going to go through the setup. I heard it wasn't exactly the easiest thing in the world to do because of the Mac updates and whatnot that had to go on. So we'll just do a quick unboxing for you guys tonight and then maybe I'll go a little bit more in depth and go over, you know, what it took to hook it up. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this and see what you guys think. And let me know what you think of the new camera angle. I put it up on top of the desk here, but, you know, the lighting here is pretty decent. You can see the light behind me. But over here, unfortunately, it might be a little bit dark for you guys to see exactly what's going on. So I might just scoop back and forth just to give you an idea. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so you guys saw, there she is. Let's go ahead and spin it around here and open it up. Let's see exactly what we got. I don't know how much there is to do. Oh, you know, it's nice. It actually lays down a little bit, so we'll get a little bit more light on it. And we'll see. Well, first things first, it does come with a setup poster. And actually, you know what I'm going to do, guys? I'm going to show this to you up here. You guys see there? does come with a setup poster as you can see there's all the information like any typical you know PC <laughs> used to seeing that so it'll be interesting it goes through telling you how to hook it up whether you are that's actually a different language so it's pretty pretty basic it just starts off with saying before you before you begin what you'll need one or more computers running Microsoft Windows Vista XP Windows MCE or Mac OS 10 or later and there is a star after the or later, and it says see online help for detailed list of support, supported operating systems. So I'm assuming that that's everything else. So if you got something other than Windows, maybe like, um, what's the other one? Uh, Linux or something like that. So I guess it's something you'd have to look into. But it basically goes through telling you how you can set it up, what you can set it up to use. And you basically hook it up to your router. And then you can actually wirelessly access through all your home devices. And as you guys can see there, I don't know if you can see that all that well, but you can see that right there. It goes through the router, and then, you know, you can actually access it wirelessly for everything. And there actually is an iPhone app. You can access it as well. So that's actually pretty cool. So let's go ahead and get into this and see exactly what we got. All right, first things first. And I'm assuming this is going to be the cables and whatnot. Yep, there's the discs that are involved. I'm, I'm kind of not used to discs since I've been dealing with a, uh, a Mac when it comes to installing things. Usually it just sets it up for you. But there's the initial uh, software installation disc. There's the PC restore disc. You can see exactly what they're for. That's for Windows only server recovery disk and it looks like it all says for Windows only that doesn't necessarily say for Windows only but this one does so this is also for oh you know what it does say Mac on the end there maybe that was cut off when I was reading that so we'll have to take a look and see exactly what those are when I do the review on it so they do give you an Ethernet cable um, I'm gonna be hooking it up down here and I'm gonna want to hook it up to the t computers upstairs so I don't want to do that wirelessly because I do want it to move a little bit faster. So I would think that it would move faster if you were hardwired into it as opposed to doing it wirelessly. But you know what? Maybe we'll run some tests on that. So let's go ahead and throw this stuff back in here. Because we're not going to be using that all right now. I'm actually getting ready to head out. So I just wanted to get this unboxing done. Maybe I'll edit it up tonight and maybe tomorrow a little bit. You guys will see this on Friday, hopefully. So let's go ahead and put that to the side. 
and the next thing we have here of course is the server itself and of course you see this big giant box and then you get into the server itself and there's not much to it as a matter of fact we're going to have to move the camera down a little bit here so bear with me one second I'll go ahead and slide that down you don't really need to look at me so there she is let's go ahead and get into it and see exactly what we got here Very small, very shiny, very black, like a HP tends to be, and it does have a little bit of weight to it. <clears throat> so that's actually pretty nice, and it does have some coverings here, the uh, protect it from getting scratched. So I'll take that stuff later. On, take that stuff off later on. But this is basically where your drives are going to be: one, two, three, and four. I don't know, yeah, that actually opens up right there. Now you can actually unlock and lock your bays so you can or cannot take them out. I'm guessing, you know, depending on what you're doing or what you're using them for, you don't necessarily want them to, to slip out or, or anything like that at all. But I did want to show you the drives here. So. so we're back. I got the flathead. And then we'll turn that. And you can actually take out... I guess you, I'm not sure exactly how to take this out and I don't want to break it. So I'm not sure exactly what to do. Maybe I should read the directions. Oh, uh, you know what? Here you see that the, pla the purple plastic part down there? You just push it down, gives you the arm and you're able to pull the, pull the sled out. Now this is actually comes with all the sleds on it and this actually comes with a one terabyte hard drive in it already. So that's actually very nice. It gets you started and I can start doing stuff. So let's go ahead and put that back in. And I see just slide it in there, clicks in. You're good to go if you want protection so you don't accidentally take them out. You can light that down. You lock that down, you're good to go. You do have a USB port, a USB, yeah, USB port down there at the bottom. It'll give you your power. It'll tell you, I'm assuming that the drives are transferring and that it's connected, I would assume. But, like I said, we'll go over all that in the review. And you guys will see here that there are three more USB ports, an extra SATA drive, which you can actually hook up an external drive to if you fill all four of your bays and you want to get something a little bit extra on there. There's your Ethernet port and there's your plug to uh, hook it up. So guys, that's it. There's your power button, of course. So we'll see how this goes. I did hear some horror stories getting it set up. So, so we'll see exactly how that goes, and uh, we'll get back to you. So guys, thank you very much for uh, stopping by. I appreciate everybody's views, everybody's comments. It's been absolutely awesome over the past uh, few months or so. So it's kind of grown, and I feel like it's time to... Uh, expand and I'm gonna fill all these bays up with at least a terabyte maybe a terabyte and a half and I'll have a place to put my iMovie stuff for this and and the, the raw data and as well as doing all backups so it's pretty amazing piece of machinery and um, we'll see exactly how it sets up I'm gonna get David Sacconi to help me out so that's about it oh and one more thing I have a do have a special video coming up you know I am on mobility today's podcast but we do record it live on Ustream. So I guess I should say join us on Ustream next Wednesday night at 9 o'clock. But I'll do a separate video on that. I just We were talking about these last night, and I know a lot of people that might be interested in getting them. Um, they're very inexpensive. This cost me, after the discounts and whatnot, probably four, four something, 420 So we'll get into that later on in the review. So guys, this is MTP Fire saying you have a great night, and I will talk to you later. See ya!